Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Aimstone channel and as always, let's go ahead and take a look at the Bitcoin market. BTC is pumping! As of the time of this recording, Bitcoin is about $53,000 and that will be officially new local high. I want to say new all-time high, but we're not quite there yet. All-time high will be about 69k, right now we are at only $53,000. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks or maybe like two to three months, we will be above that price level. But yes, BTC is extremely volatile. When Bitcoin spot TF were approved, Bitcoin was around uh, $48,000. The Bitcoin jumped about 50K. And then when Grayscale starts selling Bitcoin massively, Bitcoin dumped by 20% and bottomed at around $38,000. And from that point on, the uh, buying pressure from BlackRock, Fidelity, and other Bitcoin spot TFs overpowered selling pressure from Grayscale. And from that point on, BTC skyrocketed to this current price, $53,000. Going from uh, 38k to 53k, Bitcoin officially generated more than $15,000 gains within a well, couple of weeks. That is indeed fantastic news. From technical standpoint, we had this long-lasting resistance and now it turned into this support. And additionally, we can see that Bitcoin is forming this more or less a bullish megaphone pattern formation. Yes, we had this resistance and that in turn into the support. Then BTC bounced back from this support. And now we are in a new price discovery mode. Yes, guys, continue stacking because Bitcoin is about to get wild. Alright guys, let's zoom out a bit, take a look at this 3 daily Bitcoin chart. The main reason why I use 3 daily Bitcoin chart because 3 daily Bitcoin chart captures very well a previous all-time high 69k and this current rally. But you may ask, why don't I use a weekly Bitcoin chart? The main reason why I do not use a weekly Bitcoin chart for this purpose because a weekly Bitcoin chart candles are too damn big. I think 3 daily Bitcoin chart is just perfect. So yes, as we can see that Bitcoin not only makes new local high, it also generates like 26 months new high. Last time Bitcoin was about 53,000 was in December 2021. But guess what? In late November 2021, Bitcoin was at $69,000. So that was still remains an all-time high. So Bitcoin needs to gain like... um. $16,000 to be officially at new all-time high and I think it may happen sooner than anybody thinks it may even happen before the next Bitcoin having that just less than two months away additionally we can see that 200 weeks simple moon average right now is $31,000 while Bitcoin is above $53,000 so Delta would be more than well like $22,000 that would be the highest delta I have seen in a recent history. Yes, we can clearly see that Bitcoin momentum continues going higher and bears probably sucking their thumb. Guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to my favorite crypto exchange, Pinex.com. Pinex provides 16 free crypto trading bots and charges extreme low trading fees of 0.05%. It has over 100,000 users worldwide and over $5 billion monthly trading volume. We all heard about ChatGPT. How about Pinex GPT? With Pinex GPT, you can create your strategy by telling Pinex GPT what you want the strategy to perform. You can even backtest it on TradingView. This RSI strategy utilizes both long and short trading directions. In the past 30 days, the yield was more than 80% and the past 90 days, the yield was more than 200%. Since I am a Bitcoin hodler, I prefer a simple DCA strategy. If you would like to use more trading bots and stack more sets, sign up with the link in the description box below and get a chance to get 2125 USDT bonus. Speaking of the Bitcoin fear with index, today we are at 72, we are agreed. 72 quite low if you ask me, but the truth is this Bitcoin fear grid index was updated at uh, midnight, so back then Bitcoin was even below $52,000. So if Bitcoin will remain above $53,000 tomorrow, I'm pretty sure tomorrow Bitcoin fear grid index will be quite hot. <laughs> Maybe we'll be in some new euphoria state, possibly even above 80. If Bitcoin breaks 80, I think that will be like new uh, local high. Well, we will find out tomorrow. Alright guys, moving on. The big question is if Bitcoin having is priced in by the market. To answer that question, I want to talk a bit 
about efficient market hypothesis well what is it the efficient market hypothesis or emh alternatively known as the efficient market theory is a hypothesis that states that shares price reflects all available information and consistent alpha generation is impossible in other words that you cannot beat the market over a long period of time <laughs> well tell that to warren buffett or tell that to even bitcoin bitcoin beats s p 500 or any other benchmark by quite a lot according to emh stocks always trade at their fair value on exchanges making it impossible for investors to purchase undervalued stocks or sell stocks for inflated prices therefore it should be impossible to outperform overall market through expert stock selection or market timing so yes efficient market hypothesis states that you cannot beat the market it tells you in your face however let's take a look what warren buffett has to say about efficient market hypothesis investing in a market where people believe in efficiency is like playing bridge with someone who has been told that it does not do any good to look at the card yes i am 100 percent agree with warren buffett in this case let me tell you guys a quick story about efficient market hypothesis the economy professor and his student walk on the street and the student sees five dollars the professor tells him no it cannot be five dollars because someone would have already picked it up students picks it up five dollars goes to the bar and buy himself a beer so who wins in the end of course student does but professor still in his reptilian brain believes that you cannot beat the market so the main reason why i think bitcoin hammock is not priced in by the market let's say that if a bitcoin hammock would be priced in by the market it means that uh, people would not anticipate price go any higher let's say that if they would anticipate price go any higher they would buy right now and therefore bitcoin price would now go higher after the bitcoin hammock it would have gone higher right now however on my humble opinion just a bunch of bs because i remember very vividly that plan b ran a post in 2020 just before bitcoin having he asked the people if bitcoin having was priced in and i think like 80 percent said that it was but bitcoin price yet went up so how the hell that makes sense if bitcoin having was priced in why would the bitcoin price went up well the reality is bitcoin having was not priced in and i think we are going to see something similar this time around having you no know, bitcoin does very well after each bitcoin having after each cycle after first bitcoin having that took place in 2012 bitcoin literally generated 100x after the second bitcoin having that took place in 2016 bitcoin generated 33x and after third bitcoin having that took place in 2020 just after the corona crash bitcoin generated more than 8x so how much gains are we going to see this time around well i don't know guys but i am definitely think maybe like quarter of a million or three hundred thousand dollars that could be the top for bitcoin in this cycle so now once again bitcoin having is not priced in if we actually have every single cycle in the linear chart yes 2012 2016 2020 bitcoin went up every single cycle so bitcoin having is less than two months away are you guys ready what is about to come personally i am ready actually today i ran a poll as well is bitcoin having priced in and 92 percent of people so far said that is not priced in and only seven percent of people said that it is priced in so it looks like people learning some lessons yes back in 2020 majority of people said that it was priced in and now it looks like majority of people said that it's not priced in all right guys moving on let's change gear a bit take a look at the bitcoin spot etfs what is going on in the etf world this table was updated as of friday february 23 today we are on monday however we do not have a new table yet hopefully by the end of the day we're going to have a new table and tomorrow i will make another video and update you guys what is going on but anyway as of friday we can see that the total net flow was at around 232 million dollars grayscale sold only 44 million dollars worth of bitcoin in friday that would be the lowest selling day since bitcoin spot yeah were approved does that mean bitcoin selling pressure from grayscale is coming to the end 
well as we can see it is a bit volatile sometimes a uh, few days uh, grayscale can sell a uh, small amount of BTC and another day it can sell larger amount of Bitcoin so let's see but overall grayscale sold more than 7.4 billion dollars worth of Bitcoin look I think they sold like roughly a third of what they currently have and they charge in management fees seven times higher than their competitors on the flip side we have a BlackRock BlackRock Friday accumulated 167 million dollars worth of Bitcoin Fidelity only 52 million but we also have ARK accumulated 34 million dollars so overall a BlackRock right now holds almost 6 billion dollars worth of BTC Fidelity 4 billion so BlackRock plus Fidelity would be almost 10 billion dollars worth of BTC in asset under management bitwise more than a billion arc 1.4 billion dollars so overall the accumulating net flow would be more than 5.5 billion dollars so just imagine if grayscale would not sell any bitcoin it means that accumulated net flow would be well like 13 a billion dollars i think if that would be the case bitcoin would be like at 80 90 thousand but look nothing you can do about this all right guys moving on so currently i am in new york and i took big picture in the new york subway of grayscale trying to advertise their bitcoin spot app. grayscale advertises their bitcoin spot app in nyc subway will it help their sinking ship i do not think so maybe if they would lower the AUM fees from 1.5 percent to maybe a 20 30 basis points that would definitely help this is what grayscale looks like since the bitcoin spot app was approved yes minus seven billion dollars worth of bitcoin and it probably will continue to go lower and lower and lastly let's take a look at this quick video where anthony pompliano will explain what he thinks is going to happen to bitcoin next let's take a look so what's the next catalyst it could be the bitcoin having event one month from today or two months from today i should say but I, I, my question is, is it buy the rumor, sell the news? So Bitcoin is coming up so much into that, uh, that event, then it sells off after. We ask Anthony Pompliano, Pump Investments Investor in a uh, Fox Business exclusive. What do you think of my theory? So Bitcoin having definitely matters. If you go back to economics class, anytime that you have something that happens in the market that everyone either doesn't know about or doesn't have the same opinion on, it's obviously going to have an impact. What we've seen is a demand shock with ETFs, so lots yeah. of capital is pouring in, and now we're going to have a supply shock. Right now, there's 900 Bitcoin a day that come into the uh, market. When the halving occurs, we're going to go down to 450 Bitcoin per day. So naturally, if you have tons of demand and you have a decreasing incoming supply, the price has to go up to accommodate everyone. And we've seen this happen over and over and over again. I think that it may be less of a percent move, but in aggregate dollars, it was to be very, very meaningful over the coming 18 months. So how high does the price go? Look, historically, Bitcoin's price has gone up hundreds of percent. I wouldn't be shocked if Bitcoin went over $100,000 in the next 18 months. Uh, but also, I think that the ground is moving a little bit. There's a lot of different uh, things that are occurring. New types of investors are coming into the market. There's new investment Who are the vehicles. new types of investors? Because of this... Uh well, okay. Bitcoin is now one of the favorite assets of any Wall Street investor. If you think about it, Wall Street investors have been suffering returns because they can't keep up with the indexes mm -hmm. in the equity market. They now have the ability to put a little bit of Bitcoin. They can go buy a Bitcoin ETF and put 1% to 3% of their equity portfolio into it. And now that will juice their returns and hopefully help them compete against that index. On top of that, you now have them able to allocate capital to what's been the best performing asset for the last 15 years. Yeah. Wall Street, the smartest investors in the world, the biggest capital pools in the world, they've been boxed out from the best investment in the world. Retail investors has got to front run these people and they're ready to allocate and that's what we're seeing 10 billion dollars flow into the etfs november 2021 bitcoin record high 69,000. when does bitcoin hit 69,000? again short-term price is almost impossible to predict my guess is that we will see somewhere around there before the end of this year this year okay S something like that and then when does it go to 100 I think that the halving is really this meaningful moment. And what we've seen historically is uh, there's been three prior times where the halving occurs. And within 18 months, we have a new all-time high. Uh, historically, though, when we've hit that halving, we haven't been at a new all-time high price yet. Hmm. What we've been watching right now is these ETF flows are driving the price higher. We're now at $52,000. We were at $42,000 when the ETFs actually got approved. And so if this continues, there's a chance we could be near an all-time high. I don't know if we'll be at the all-time high, but we could be closer to an all-time high when the having a curse so pompliano thinks that the bitcoin could reach new all-time high possibly before the next bitcoin having 
that will take place in April, which is less than two months away, and he thinks Bitcoin will reach like 100k by the end of the year. Look, 100,000 dollars by the end of the year, I think that would be quite disappointing. I would like to see maybe 200k by the end of the year, and maybe in mid 2025, 250,000 or even 300,000 dollars per BTC. Will it happen? We will find out, I guess, in a year. Let me know what you guys think. Can Bitcoin hit like 200-300k? Comment below, subscribe and like this video.